Greetings and salutations to our fine podcast audience. Welcome to episode 173. We made it. Yes, and as I said last week, we got a double episode. Two questions on the paper. There they are. This is exciting. And we're we're going to get it done in our normal allotted... With no one there, allots. There is no allotment. There is no allotment. <laughs> I just created it. I never know how long it's We call to be. this a Missouri special. That's what uh, we call it. In Missouri, do they say Missouri? Depends on who you ask. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to say I come on. I know my family does. No, okay. Look, if you're like, okay, there's a lot of Georgia in Missouri. In that, there's a lot of Southern accent in Missouri. And you right. have a thick Southern accent in Missouri. You say you call it Missouri. Y'all or got to, if you're, you're my saying Bostonian you got Bostonian grandpa visiting Missouri, you also say Missouri. I didn't want to know that much. I didn't either. So, but thanks, go. Sawyer. There you, you go. You just got Sawyer set off on that. That's all right. He's, he's just saying, what he's saying is there's rednecks everywhere. There are. Well, I oh, knew that. Yeah, yeah, there's rednecks sure. everywhere. I absolutely knew that. That's for sure. So, and speaking of rednecks, um, <laughs> this first question. That, I, okay, so that's insulting. I'm sorry. That's insulting. <laughs> So now I want you to ask the second question first. No, I'm asking the first question. And I'm not saying that rednecks uh, ask this question you more. You were than about to say that. I was. I apologize. I'll say that. Lord, I apologize. And to all of you. Yes. Question number one What do you make about the possibility of life on other planets, and how does that fit in with the Bible? Any of y'all, let me just ask this first of all. Anybody had any close encounters of the third kind? No. No? Not of the not of the third kind, right? What are, what are the kinds? First kind is you see something. <laughs> the fact that you know that is embarrassing. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I was, the fact that you want to talk I'm about that. I'm saying you want to classify it now. I'm not at any of the third kind. I was just referring to the movie that had aliens in it. Yeah, Jar, I'm with you. Did, have you seen that movie? It's pretty old. Mm-hmm. That's a great movie. It is a great movie. There are very few movies you're going to say that Nathan hasn't That's seen. Most likely that. true. <laughs> but it is pretty old. I didn't know if he goes back that far. I have. Okay. Yeah, it much, is a classic. Much for me. So none of us have had a personal experience with life on other planets. No. no. Um, I've never been outside of this one. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I was telling the guys before we hit record, uh, I recently listened to a podcast that's about... Yes unidentified flying objects. It was very entertaining. Uh, lots of people believe they have seen those kinds of things. I enjoy movies about other planets. I, I mm-hmm. too. I've always been a fan of Star Trek more than Star Wars, which okay. I know yeah. alienates some people. Mm-hmm. I like Star Wars, but I just yeah. think Star Trek's better. Yeah. So... And that is the end of this episode. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> <That's laughs> all Star Wars people just turn you off. That's, that's ruining it. So... Well, how how it fits in with the Bible, I'm not sure it does. If you're if if I'm honest, I mean, I don't know what to make of the possibility. You ask, what do you make of the possibility? Yeah, I, don't know. I don't have much to make of it because I don't have any evidence telling me uh, that that there's any life on other planets. Or will we find it as as our knowledge expands? Maybe, yeah, um, but if we did, I don't think that it would shipwreck my faith. Well, we, we were having this conversation before, and I do think this is something that might be interesting to people who saw this was about aliens and maybe didn't want to yep. watch. But you might be interested in this part is there's there's kind of oh, this. Oh, I predict this is our highest episode. Well, it's coming. We'll <laughs> if we we'll put that we're talking about aliens, I It'll predict. Say that. It'll mm-hmm. say that. So there's a, I don't, I don't know if it's technically referred to as a doctrine, but there's this idea of the what is called the scandal of particularity, mm. which is the idea that, you know, a lot of people, and I think a lot of skeptics even say, uh, you know, so you your belief is that in, you know, omniscient, all-powerful, eternal God showed up just randomly 2,000 years ago. In no, a t- not random. Well, that, but what I'm saying, this is their <laughs> thought. It shows up just in their mind, random, yeah. 2,000 years ago in a particular time, in a particular place. Doesn't Why wouldn't he just show up all the time? Well, that is really our belief is that, yes, God does show up. In, in a particular person, Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. uh, you know, 2,000 years ago, in a particular time, mm-hmm. in a particular place. And really only spoke to a few people in the overall scope of things. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Right. And that it is, and that one life, death, and then resurrection is the cause of the redeeming. <laughs> Of all creation. That's it right. is the reconciling of all creation took place 
in ancient Palestine 2,000 years ago through the life of one you know, poor Jewish carpenter. And the reason they call it the scandal is it's a little scandalous to think that God would just choose, yes, I'm choosing this man, Abraham, and then this family, the nation of Israel. And everyone's going to find out because of my followers that this thing happened in history. So to that point, mm. if there then somehow was life on other planets, mm. right? Yeah. That wouldn't then make me go, well, why didn't Jesus show up to them? Mm -hmm. No different than it makes me say, why didn't Jesus show up uh, as you know a Native American? And then again, why didn't he show up in the heart of Africa? And why didn't Jesus show up? And Because even on this planet, there are people who didn't get to experience Jesus walking around even within the time he was alive, that's right. let alone the history of the mm -hmm. planet. Yeah, that's right. There's an old... Uh Edward might know this. There's an old Larry Norman song. Mm -hmm. Remember Larry Norman? Uh, for sure. He was one of the original contemporary Jesus people. Jesus, Jesus people. The movie that's out now. Yes. 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 He Whatever was it one is, of the I don't watch First those. Christian rock artists. And he has a lyric in one of his songs that says something to the effect of if there if there are life if there's life on other planets, I'm sure that somewhere Jesus has gone to them and died to save their souls too. It's kind of like this idea of the, the song is about, you know, Jesus, he took care of all of it. Right. And I and I trust him that he's taking care of all of it. Well, I'm so, That's where I sort of am on this question. It's like, if there, is. if there is, and I don't see any evidence, but if there was, I, I trust Jesus so much that I think he's got that covered. He holds the whole universe together. Yes. He's created all that is created. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I can think about that the Bible has to say anything about this is if we find out there's life on other planets, Jesus created it. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I already know that. Mm -hmm. So I know he's taking care of it. Doesn't mean they're humans. It doesn't mean they're sinful. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, because uh, there are other beings like angels mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't die to save angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, so, you know, they're, yeah. they're, who knows? They're, there may in fact be other beings. We don't have any evidence, but, you know, we're looking I mean, our oh, yeah. we're in government spent a lot of money on that. We yep. don't, want, don't want to give to poor people. Yeah. <laughs> That's my I apologize. Wow. I apologize for that. We just jumped into a whole other <laughs> topic right there. I, I love it. Okay. So do y'all have anything else to say about this question? No. I mean, I think, I think what we've said is ultimately it okay. is all of creation, all of history, Jesus was the point of it all. Mm. And so it's not like if there's life on other planets, God's like, Oh no! I forgot about the Zargots. Dang it. Like, oh man, I created, I created all these humans, and oh, Jesus died for the humans, not the Zargots. Poor Zargots. Exactly. <laughs> Gorns have salvation. That's as right. Well. There you go. well, what we're going to find out though is the Calvinists were right all along. All humans were saved, and no Gorgons. They were the race created to be doomed. That's right. <laughs> There you go. And then they could be right. We could hashtag this Calvinism and then we'll get a bunch oh, of people. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. But unfortunately, the comments will wear mm -hmm. us out. Yes. And I don't, I don't want that. Yes. They tend to be an angry lot. <laughs> well, particularly when they're young and male. Mm -hmm. Yes, usually. <laughs> Another topic. Yes. Okay. Now, question number two was sent in at the same time as question number one. So that's why I decided for us to knock you them both out. You think it's the same person. I'm, I know it's the same person. Unless the, they brought another person in and typed it into the computer. <laughs> maybe, oh, it literally maybe, came in maybe in one Maybe it was a Zargon. <laughs> maybe. Maybe Zargon. Maybe. But I have no evidence for that, okay. so I'm going to go with one person. You remember the little sketch on Saturday Night Live, which nobody will remember but me probably, and I can't remember the, the actor but he created a character that had a little alien that lived in his belly. <laughs> you remember? Oh, uh, wasn't it, wasn't it uh, Jay Moore? Didn't Jay Moore do that? I don't think so. Mm. Uh, anyway, occasionally he would unbutton his shirt and let the alien talk. Uh, I don't remember that one. You don't? No, I don't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Question number two. What are your thoughts on reincarnation? Okay, there you go. There, I mean, there was our thoughts right there. Yeah, I don't have any. It's a long pause. I don't have any particular thoughts on it because I don't, I, you know, the the, the Bible hmm. and the story of the Bible is about, and we talked about this in the last, um, in the last episode about you know your soul, and it's your body, your spirit, your mind. There is no 
It's it's about an embodied resurrection. Mm-hmm. It's about an embodied life, mm-hmm. and that you are you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and you're always you're, you. And so you're embodied death, and then you also are in bodily resurrected with Jesus, just as He was. So, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't if the with what they mean by what are your thoughts on it is can you believe the story of the Bible and believe in reincarnation? I would say no because mm-hmm. I don't think it. It's the same thing. It, it it it's a little bit again, and maybe it's true everywhere. I only know Western really Western Southern color culture, right. <laughs> which there's a group of us in my generation and younger who want to take all these ideas from all these other religions because we sort of have this idea we ought to be able to just mash them all together right. and make something. Karma doesn't fit. Karma is mm-hmm. right. Hinduism. Reincarnation is Hinduism. Mm-hmm. And, I'm, I, you know, if that's what you believe... You probably ought to ask that on a Hindu podcast. Yes. Uh, but mm-hmm. the Bible's pretty clear. Everyone's created once to die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, and then comes the judgment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we, we die one time. Mm-hmm. Um, so my thoughts are that's not the way it is. Now, if you have Hindu friends and you're asking this to find weapons against them, I well, that know. that's clearly not Christianity. Finding truth to beat somebody with yeah. <laughs> is yeah. that also is that's anti-Christian. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. yeah. And, oh, that's my thoughts on reincarnation. It, 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 it's a Hindu idea. Mm-hmm. It's clearly taught in Hinduism. They deeply believe it. Jesus said that's not the way it actually goes. Yeah, I just don't have many thoughts on it to be to be clear. And Jesus is right about everything. Je- yeah, that's what that's our that's, premise. That's our premise. That's where we come from. We're followers of Jesus, and so we trust that He's right about everything. We believe that He is the person mm-hmm. that died, and He told us the truth about life and death, and what's going to happen after life. And reincarnation is not a part of that. Mm. Yeah. So. so that's my thoughts. Yes, yeah, so I, I, yeah, it doesn't fit. I, I would tell you on all of this kind of thing, and this is maybe a side note, but I had this a minute ago and then I lost it because I'm 63. Uh-huh. And, but it came back, back. It came back to me is that I, I would really like on some of these questions to just, you know, the Bible doesn't provide all the truth that there is that exists. Ooh. And it's not trying to. Ooh. And so I, like I just would, that's one of the things I'd want to say is I was, I really had... And it was so easy for me as a kid who was, at one point I was smart, and I was able to argue pretty effectively with people to show them that there was in fact truth that they in fact believed that was not taught in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Bible's not trying to teach all the truth that exists about everything in the world. So could there in fact be aliens one day? Well, maybe, but then the Bible's not trying to deal with that. The Bible is telling that's a particular right. story mm-hmm. that starts mm-hmm. where it starts and it goes to where it goes for a particular purpose. And the purpose is not to give human beings every piece of information that they will ever need. Mm-hmm. If you need to know how to go to Marietta, GPS is a really effective tool. Yeah. The Bible is not. Mm. Yes. I agree. Yes. So, that sounds like a whole nother episode. Yeah. But we've actually touched on that many, many times. I just yeah. feel like we have to come back to it we because yeah, there we is did. a place where people get that mm-hmm. if it, in fact, occurs like this, mm-hmm. you know, could mm-hmm. there be life on There might. There's absolutely no evidence. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. We're looking. We're looking at a lot of money. We're sending a lot of that. signals into space to see if we can get anything back. And mm-hmm. maybe the people out there have said, no look at them. I do not want to talk to them. Yes. You know how you have those people that are mm-hmm. constantly trying mm-hmm. to message you and you go, yeah. no. <laughs> well, that's the one thing. I will say this, back back to the, what I said earlier. Listening to that podcast, which was very entertaining, and all the evidence that they have that there have been these encounters and objects and all this kind of stuff. If all that's true, and there is this, you know, group of people other than that live on this planet contacting us, they don't seem interested enough to let it be known, and they don't seem interested enough to engage with us, Mm -hmm. not to the point where it has any kind of lasting evidence or effect on us. And so... 
if they, like you said, if they are out there, they they've decided, uh, uh-uh, uh, no thanks. No, no, yeah. thanks. I'll just come in and I'll I'll I'll, I'll see how they're doing and be like, no, mm, thanks. no, no, I'm thanks. going back because it's better out there. You know, when you <laughs> asked about the close encounter thing and people talk about evidence, and I hear some of the evidence, I've heard read some of that stuff too. Mm. I have never had what I would consider alien experience, but I had some experiences years ago when I was using drugs oh. mm. that I could not explain. Yes. Mm. And uh, we were talking about this question beforehand. It is interesting the majority of majority of sightings occur alone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're not they're not not generally that there's a group of people at a concert and they go, oh my gosh, all 8,000 of us saw this thing. Mm-hmm. That doesn't happen very often. And most of them happen in the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We should begin, well, Americans are we, more should be again, we should begin mm-hmm. asking why we report that mm-hmm. so much. What is it about us that mm-hmm. there may be data there that somebody should look into? Maybe. We'll see. So, or not. Or not. There may be no. There may be no data on any. I don't know. I. I'm very confused on all of it. Of, I. I think to the point that you're making there, Ed. I do think there might be something to the fact that, um, the way you even described Jason, you know, there are these aliens and they're watching us and they're not getting involved. It's almost the way that certain people describe God. Hmm. That God is watching us. He doesn't really want to get involved. He's not very personal. He's kind of watching from afar. I haven't put a lot of thought into this. I don't want to say too much on it. But there, I, there is almost a religious fervor around it. Of oh, I yes. want there to be something oh, more than yes. humanity, but I don't want it to be a personal God yes. um, that has made himself revealed. Yes. You know, we've already talked about I in don't a very like particular what you way. Said. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I want to find something Or else. something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some other reason. But there's yes. something I've rejected about... Mm-hmm. This particular God revealing himself in the way that he did. Um, and so I kind of like this version that there's these beings and they're watching me. Because I've, I've also listened to several of, you know, and seen several documentaries about you. Mm-hmm. And people are, often the people are into it, it's like, I just like the idea there's someone watching me. Yeah. That there's someone wa- that there's someone out there and they're there watching There is. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but the personal nature of God yes. often okay. becomes a problem. They want it to be impersonal, though, because if I said to them, hey, I'm watching you all the time, uh-uh. that, that'd be creepy. Yeah. That'd be right. creepy. Oh, yeah, I, I did. I you might watching. need to spend some money on data finding out if Ed is watching you. That is not coming. Now that he's all. brought it see, up. See how creepy that is? Yeah. Yeah. But when I say somebody far off planet, oh, yeah, they're watching over us. Okay, it's so all right. comforting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So that's all we got to say about those questions. I told you it was going to be crazy last week, but and it was. So next week, we will pick up and uh, jump back into a question that you guys have asked several times, but maybe not quite in this way. Uh, might be another highly vi- viewed on YouTube. It ain't going to beat that alien one. What, no, we're going to be talking about <laughs> Old Testament and God being violent. Okay. Uh, all so right. that'll be fun. So come back for that. See you next week. See ya.